Arthur in a Pickle by Mark Brown, read by me. The school bell rang. Time to hand in your homework, said Mr. Ratburn. Everyone did, but Arthur. Where is your homework? Mr. Ratburn asked Arthur. My dog ate it, said Arthur. I don't think so, said Mr. Ratburn. Go to the principal's office first thing in the morning. You're in a pickle now, Arthur. That night, Arthur just played with his food. He tossed and turned in bed. I'm in a pickle, he said again and again until he fell asleep. Arthur dreamed that the pickle police were chasing him. He jumped into his pickle car. He stepped on the gas, but he didn't get far. The pickle police said, Take him away. Up in the sky, a pickle plane flew through pickle snow and rain. The pilot threw down a rope and pulled Arthur up. The plane went down in Pickle Town. Look, said D.W., a pickle steeple. Look, said Arthur, pickle people. Some had pickle hair. Some had pickle toes. Some a pickle ear. Some a pickle nose. Didn't do his homework, said Pickle Nose. Lied that he did, said Pickle Toes. You're going to jail and absolutely no bail, shouted Judge Picklepuss. The jailer put Arthur on a pickle diet, and every day he said, Just try it. For breakfast, pickle donuts and pickle flakes. For lunch, pickle pie and pickle shakes. For dinner, pickle soup and pickle cakes. Let me out. Don't be so mean. I've had it, moaned Arthur. I'm turning green. Suddenly Arthur woke up. He went to his desk, opened his book, and did his homework. At school, Arthur went right to the principal's office. I cannot tell a lie, he said. My dog did not eat my homework. I did not do my homework. But here it is now. I'm sorry. The principal smiled. Well, thank you, Arthur, he said. Arthur felt great all day until he asked, What's for dinner? And Dad said, Pickled cabbage. The End <laughs>